left, I said, big brother, anytime you need me, I will drop everything and I will come. When he said, I need you, I said, when? I am there. Amen. I honor grace. Please clap for your pastor, one of the most powerful men in the land. And he truly is a guardian of the prophetic ministry. And I appreciate you so much. You know our own private conversations, how I always am grateful for you. And I'm grateful for the great partner that the Lord has already provided. Amen. Truly the grass is green on... Amen. The grass, you can see the green means <laughs> the harvest is good. <laughs>so now we are going to go to uh jamo bryant okay <laughs> jamo bryant i cannot wait the day they're going to have their wedding <laughs> we're gonna do a live okay a live show oh man all right so this is uh jamo bryant okay good friends with uh, lovey elias okay is lovey part of the demon slayer squad do you guys know if he's part so Jamal uh, is having a conference. So he decided to bring in big guns. Okay. <laughs> love you, love you, love you, love you, areas. And he was prophesying. Okay. He went there to prophesy. Okay. So, yes. So just relax. Get your popcorn. Okay. We're about to get the prophecy <laughs> from the prophet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay but uh the prophet was introduced okay before he 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 came on the stage so we're going to listen to the introduction okay that was offered by uh dr jamal bryant <laughs> oh man you cannot make this stuff up so let's listen in prophet receive our prophet as he comes Hallelujah. 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 I want you to lift your right hand to heaven. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for this day. I thank you for this day. And I thank you for this evening. And I thank you for this evening. Your word says the end of a thing. Your word says the end of a thing. Is better than the beginning. Is better than the beginning. I thank you, O oh Lord. I that tonight we celebrate the end of our tears. We celebrate the end of our pain. We celebrate the end of our sickness. We celebrate the end of stagnancy. Father, we thank you for the new thing that is about to begin. We thank you for the new birth that is about to come forth. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to take 30 seconds and pray that something new will proceed from you. <laughs> That's unbiblical prayer, okay? In this world, you will have tribulation, okay? All who desire to live godly lives will be persecuted. Suffering, it's been gifted to you not only to suffer. Suffering is part of this life. Should we pray for healing? Absolutely. Does God heal? Absolutely. Okay, but according to that, one, he said we pray for the end of the sickness, for the end of suffering. That's not how it works. Okay, but this is what they're going to bring to you, right? To make you believe, like, oh no, 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 no. Okay, you, you, you have made it. You're good to go. You've made it. You're good to go. So remember, as Christians, right? Even the prayers that we pray. We are supposed to be praying according to God's word. We are supposed to be praying biblical prayers. So, but what do we expect from false teachers and prophets? Okay. But there is more. It's because I recognize ranking. The issue with the church today is Christians don't understand the ranking. They don't understand that there are those who are sent ahead of you because on their shoulders will you grow. And if you don't honor them and respect them and see the quantity and the quality of God in them, 
then you rob yourself of the grace that is inside of you listen i am gifted by god i was called by god when i was six years old but despite me seeing jesus i always look to see him in his servants beyond what i have experienced and every time i have looked at my big brother the man of god dr jamal brand i see jesus in a way i have never seen so every time i see him i go on my knees because not only do i honor the lord that is in him but i also honor the elder that he is to me in my custom where i come from where my father comes from there's a saying that says the ears can never grow taller than the head never confuse i'm sorry guys i just had to stop it blasphemy of the highest order blasphemy of the highest order <laughs> i don't even know where to start okay <laughs> so uh you know there's nothing wrong uh it, 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 rob is from kenya okay he's an african in african culture we do kneel so that's just how it's, it's just a sign of respect i can understand from an american perspective it's kind of like oh what are you doing okay so that's just cultural dynamics and everything so it, for me sending him name it doesn't face me because that's what we do in our culture okay but what he said the issue that i have with him is just like when he was telling there just like okay he's nearing because he's recognizing ranking right because he Ra uh, Ravi is saying Jesus in Jamal Bryant. That's the issue that I have. Because Jamal Bryant, the fact that Jamal Bryant has Ravi Elias in his, in his church, okay? Like, can two uh, work together unless they agree, okay? You are supposed to expose the false teachers. You have to call them out. So, you know, another false teacher seeing Jesus in another false teacher, that cannot be true because Jesus does not reside in false teachers. Absolutely not. So that's the issue that I have. So as far as, you know, him kneeling, whatever, that's not, you know, that's not a, an issue for me. Okay. Because that's what we do in our culture. Okay. And he's an African too. So it's fine. It's normal. Okay. But <laughs> the blasphemy of saying that you're seeing, uh, you, you're honoring Jamo so much so that you're seeing Jesus in Jamo Brian. <laughs> That is where I have an issue. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if, if I'm already stopping right now. We're going to even uh, uh, do this because you need to see the fake miracles. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, yeah. So, Haiti, that's why he kneeled. Okay. So, that answers your question. That's why he kneeled. Okay. It was, um, that was him honoring Jamo Bryant. Okay. To recognizing the ranking <laughs> from the bigger brother. <laughs> What I say that Africa probably has nothing to do with the Bible. Thank you, Sissy. <laughs> That's how he. This is how he wants to 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 make you start believing uh, in in him. So wait, when uh, there's more. Okay, let's continue, guys. <laughs> guys, are you enjoying this stream? Huh? How are you enjoying this stream so far? Let me know. Okay. <laughs> Popularity for greatness. Amen. Some people may be popular, but others are great. Amen. And you can be popular for any reason, but you can only be great for good reasons. Amen. And my big brother is a great man, and I am a partaker of that grace. Amen. The last time I came to new birth, something new was birthed in my ministry. Amen. Things shifted for me. Amen. And I told him before I left, I said, big brother, anytime you need me, I will drop everything and I will come. When he said, I need you, I said, when? I am there. Amen. I honor grace. Please clap for your pastor. One of the most powerful men in the land. And he truly is a guardian of the prophetic ministry. And I appreciate you so much. You know our own private conversations, how I always am grateful for you. And I'm grateful for the great partner that the Lord has already provided. Amen. Truly the grass is green on... The grass, you can see the green means <laughs> the harvest is good. <laughs> I'm grateful for our, our big, I'm grateful for my big sister and I'm also grateful for the joy he has brought into my brother's life. Every time I speak to him, he's like, you're coming on this date. I said, yes, I'm already there. Don't worry about it. So I appreciate him and I appreciate you all. And I want you to know we will have a tremendous time in the presence of God. Amen. The move of God will be beyond 
what we saw the last time. Okay, so <laughs> you see out there, okay, a shout out to the future first. I mean, she, she might as well be the first lady now of new birth, Carrie Tana, okay. <laughs> so, yes, so you know how it is. I had to uh, add in over there, you know. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh, okay. So now we need to. Oh, both of have an out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. And the way he prop up Jamal Bryant. Hmm. Man. <laughs> oh, guys. Eesh. Huh. Okay. I'm laughing because I could not believe. Okay. So now we need to move in to uh, the miracles. Okay. Because there were some miracles that took place. All right. So, uh, let's watch this, okay? We continue, guys. They are what we call innocent. Are you hearing me? Yes. They were innocent. They were not perfect. There is no mention of Adam and Eve being perfect in the garden except them being innocent. They had the bodies of full-grown men, but they were still maturing. There is no point that God called them perfect. Nor did they possess discernment. If they had discernment, then they would have known Satan was in their midst. Come on, teach him. Uh oh. Guys, lies upon lies upon lies. Okay? And people are clapping in the audience. So we cannot play the, the entire thing, right? So I just had to skip it there, right? So he's talking about the Genesis. Okay, about Adam and Eve. Like, when God created Adam and Eve, like, didn't God say that everything else was perfect? Whatever God created, you tell me what God created that wasn't perfect, right? I mean, like, what are you talking about, Lavi? Okay, he created them perfect. They were fine. <laughs> everything was fine for them. Like, all they just had to do was just obey, not to mess with the tree. That's it. That's it. So there wasn't like, okay, it wasn't like they, they, they didn't have discernment. Like, you know, they were moral beings. Like, you know, they knew whatever else was doing, right? Uh, Adam was walking in the cool of the day with the Lord and everything. So this guy, instead of just sticking to the scripture, he's trying to bring in something new in the church and people are clapping like, oh, yes, 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 yes. Like, I'm like, guys, honestly speaking, wh where are they getting these things from? Hmm? <laughs> Father remember, me. Father, remember me and deliver me. And deliver me. Begin to mention those things before God quickly. Tell God to give you that freedom you have been waiting for. Lift your voice. I can hear you praying. Lift your voice and pray. Unless you speak to Him, you cannot receive freedom. So, these people, they wake the cloud, okay? You see, like, he's walking Lift around. your voice, lift your voice. He has his bodyguards. Lift your voice, lift your voice. Okay, so they know what to do, where lift your exactly voice, you want to go. Okay? So, it looks like it's Some random, but it's not random. Some of you will start to cough up things, random. don't stop it, you're being they delivered. They know what they're doing, okay? <laughs> so, people should believe that there's a deliverance going on, okay? Look how they're hunting people over here, too. Like, something is happening. You see? Talking? Can you see what's happening over here? They're having a conversation here, right? So, uh, they're talking over here. Everything is on camera. Obviously, we cannot hear what they are saying. Then you're going to see what he's going to do next, okay? And this is how they, they, they skim people. Because people think like, okay, you know, you have somebody here who knows what is going on, uh, is doing. But they already, you know, they're working things out, to be honest with you. You know, I don't trust, I don't believe uh, these things. So, this is uh, Ravi talking to this lady, okay? So, I want you guys to see now, after they had had this talk, 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 what, uh, what happened next, okay? So, I have to skip it, so you guys, you should be able to... Uh, see okay what they are planning to do now <laughs> oh. lift your voice lift your voice okay
oh, you see, people, envelope, you know, giving an uh, offering to the man of God. Lift your voice, lift your voice. <laughs> man, I, uh, he, he's so serious right now. He's in the zone. Lift your voice, lift your voice. He's in the zone, okay? He's in the zone. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Lift your coming. voice. Lift your voice. It's coming. <laughs> Tell the Lord Jesus to remember you. Put your hand wherever you are sick. Put your hand anywhere you are sick. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Put your hand where you are sick. And so, um... <sighs> they're gonna go thank you holy spirit yes like, oh, people were falling uh, put your uh, hand where you're sick left and right father okay in the name of jesus yeah whatever blaspheme. sickness your people are facing blaspheme, blaspheme. whatever the name blaspheme. of that infirmity is blaspheme. may they be healed in the name of jesus blaspheme i command them to be healed in the name of jesus may they be able yes, to do what to they could the not do before distracted, right may you, they be uh, able to do what they could not do before how can you command may they that? do what they could not do before Mm? In the you mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Lift now your hands quickly. Let me start ministering prophetically. Amen. Okay. Now it's about to come, guys. Let's, let's okay? free this one. Keep your eyes open. Lift, lift Keep your eyes up. open. <laughs> can, can we worship just a little bit? Let me fly a oh, little bit. Oh, I cannot play the music. So, All right. So I'm going to leave it on silent because they, they're playing the music, right? But uh, you see. What's... Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah so i've silenced it because they're playing music you know how it is on this platform okay but he uh there'll be something that's going to happen shortly that i want you guys to see okay because right now they gotta let the music a little bit a little bit okay so uh you know <laughs> they are waking the crowd right now oh hold on all right uh man i hope there's no Hold on, okay? I want to make sure that there's no music at this point so you can hear, okay? Now, the angel of the Lord pointed me to you because I saw a mighty responsibility that God has put upon you. And this responsibility is not just for this young one that I will go into detail about, but it is a lot of people are relying on you. And God wants you to know that there is a response from heaven to encourage you and to give you strength. Amen. That whatsoever was impossible shall become possible in the name of Jesus by reason of the grace you are about to receive. Amen. Listen, the louder the amen, the greater the miracle. Amen. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, open your mouth and I will feel it. If you shut your mouth, God does not feel it. Now, the Lord is about to intervene for this young one, this young lady. The Lord is about to intervene for her. Because in the spirit, the child was born out of chaos. A lot of things in her life are broken. Everything is broken, broken, broken. The only sense of family that this young one has is her. And if she's not in her life, she will die before her time. Prophesy. Prophesy. Because the devil has systematically broken down everything to do with family. There is no mother she can run to. And there is no father she can run to. Am I speaking? Huh? Guys, didn't you and I just watch this lady having a conversation with the prophet Lavi? Right before our own eyes. Now Lavi is going to go up front and say that he's prophesying. You tell me. So let's continue. <laughs> Where's her mother? Where's the father? Brother, she's standing by herself. But I saw the angel of the Lord. Right Notice, if you are a prophet, why are you asking where is the mother, where is the father? Because we already know, right? A prophet is the one who speaks on behalf of God. So you should know already because what you're, you're just giving the message, you're prophesying, right? So everything that you're supposed to prophesy should be already there. Why are you asking the questions? Why are you asking the questions? 
And Jamal Bryant is just standing there. I mean, to be honest, Jamal Bryant was uncomfortable. You look at his demeanor. You guys tell me. I was I actually think that Jamal Bryant was uh, very, very uncomfortable. Because, you know, Rav actually called him like, okay, I cannot do this. You need to be present, so to speak. So let's continue. <laughs> Writing M on her forehead, and I don't know how to say the name. What's the name? Maya. I saw. Prophesy. Prophesy. You are not ready for prophetic. Prophesy. Prophesy. The Lord said, The anointing that is in this house will break every agenda of the enemy that was assigned to her. I saw not only the Lord keeping her. But I saw the Lord moving her at a certain time, not right now. But I saw the Lord moving her actually from Atlanta to LA. Mm. Mm. Officer. Agenda. You have to be specific. What type of agenda? You have to be specific. Hey. Oh, it's, they're just scamming people. I'm even Jamal Bryant was uncomfortable, guys. Let's continue. And I saw God using her mightily in entertainment. And through her, the name of the Lord will be lifted. But now, what the enemy is trying to do is to break down everything. I'm sorry, guys. Entertainment in LA. You tell me what type of entertainment is in Hollywood that's going to lift the name of Jesus. I'll wait. Thing in you said Maya yes. Maya's life so that she does not excel where God has called her but because of the power of the Holy Spirit in this house Hallelujah. there shall be no derail in your life yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to stretch your hands towards this family and I want you to declare that whatsoever the enemy planned against their lives especially Maya's life that it shall be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Okay. So, obviously, that right now, they, are, they have to declare. Right? They're doing... Uh, they have to declare. <laughs> they have to declare. So, right now, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What? <laughs> Why are you asking the name? You're a prophet. Lift your voice. Okay, I can't so hear you praying. There's another scheme that's about to happen. There's another scheme that's about to happen. Okay. Keep your eyes open, guys. We continue. <laughs> Watch what's happening right now. Uh -huh. I haven't seen him in years. Okay. Um, in a lot of years, but I know he's had problems. Come. It's you people. Come. 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 In Jesus, name. in Jesus name okay look, look at me look at me let me help you is here stand stand here look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. yeah I see so about another, another scam is about to take place okay lift, lift your hands lift your hands both of you Lift your hands. What? Young lady, you are delivered. Go home and be grateful to the Lord. The Lord has given you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I mean, Jamo is just standing there. He doesn't even know what to do. Could, now, I know Jamo is a first teacher, but... <laughs> I want to pray for you guys to avert the spirit of death. Watch. Are listen to this one. I need you to speak to me. Uh, how long have you two been married for? 15 years. 15 years. Wow. 15 months. A prophet is asking questions. Remember, prior to this, right, he had a small talk with these guys. And I don't know if you guys uh, uh, heard. There was a name. She actually mentioned he hasn't seen uh, a loved one. I had a picture. The name was Stephen. She actually said that. And watch what happens. Fake miracles. Months, 15 years and two months. Okay. Now, when I set my eyes on you, I saw you at a funeral. And when I saw you at a funeral, it was a funeral of a man that was having heart conditions. And this man has been assigned by the enemy not to finish this summer. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Professor. 
I saw you at a funeral. I don't know if I'm standing in Alabama where I am, but I am in a funeral. And I am seeing you there, I'm seeing you there, and people are crying that this man died before his time. Because the enemy has been after this man's life since 2016. He has been consistently, continually sick. The enemy tried to hit him with a stroke. He was paralyzed on one side. Then after that, he had heart issues. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I saw at the funeral on the casket, it was written Stephen. Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Who is Stephen? He's my uncle on my dad's side. And what is going on with Stephen? I'm not quite sure. I haven't seen him in years. I know my sister has been to his area recently, so she may know more than me. Okay, do you know about any heart condition or anything like that? I feel that it rings a bell, for sure. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Can you call them? Yes. Because if we don't pray for him, he will actually die before his time. We are not guessing, we are hearing from amen, God. Amen, amen. Lift your right hand to heaven. Say, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever the enemy has planned to do to shorten my life. Whatsoever the enemy has planned to do to shorten my life. Hey, this guy. Why are you, the lady doesn't even know, right? It says, oh, but it rings the bell. That's not how prophecy works, guys. That's not how prophecy works. And he actually inquired already. We saw him actually inquire. The lady actually mentioned the name Stephen. <laughs> and he's going to come on the stage pretending that he's prophesying. And Jamo is just standing there eating it all up. Huh? <laughs> Oh my gosh, love me, love me, love me. <laughs> love the areas. <laughs> what are you guys? Oh, Marcus, thank you for joining in, okay? <laughs> People are being delivered out here, okay? <laughs> I've seen someone for years, I heard. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you. So, uh, oh, yes, oh, yeah, they're actors, they're actors. But this one was so plain. I'm like, wait a minute, you just had a, a, a small talk with this woman. Now, all of a sudden, you're, you're prophesying? Like, come on, man. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> May it be broken in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. No. Look, there are skimming, you know, around the, the audience there. Oh, you know? Just skimming, looking what's going to happen next. But there's nothing that's going on over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mighty name of Jesus. Did you come together? Do you know her? Come, stand. As God is touching her. Yeah. So stand here. Look at me. You the see, he Jesus. always has people around him to make sure you control everything. Okay? You are in church. Nobody's coming to. Uh, what, what else is going to happen to love? Who's going to just go there and Woman do whatever? Did you come by yourself? You came by yourself? Okay, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Thank you. Can I see the picture that you had on? When I looked at her, while she was speaking, I was listening to God. I wasn't listening to her. Because the way you function in the prophetic is, as many people are shouting, hey, who is I am not even hearing you. My ears are completely tuned somewhere else. Prophesy. There is a big problem. Yeah. And you are actually mourning. Yeah. Because I asked heaven to confirm yeah. your cry. Yeah. And I will prove to you that I know you by the spirit beyond even what you are showing me. Prophesy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, God. This child is not in the realm of the living. Wow. This child has already crossed over. Yes, he has. Are you hearing me, woman yes, of he God? Yes, prophesied. It's been, I think, two weeks or one week. One week. We buried him yesterday. You buried him yesterday. Yes, sir. The, the child is on the other side. Prophesied. But here's what. Guys, he says it's been one week. Do you know that a prophet in scripture, you one wrong word, that's, that's death sentence on you? Because God is not a man that he should lie. If you're speaking, it's that says the Lord. So if you're saying whatever is coming out your mouth, better be that says the Lord. So according to uh, Elias over here, he's prophesying, 
right? So if you're, you're speaking on behalf of God, so how can you make a mistake between two weeks and one week? Because you cannot even make a mistake. God cannot make a mistake. You see what I'm saying? But these people are eating it up. Like, wait a minute. That alone disqualifies him being a prophet, guys. What are they doing at that church? What the Lord said to you. Are you listening to me, woman yes, of God? God? I saw in visions of God the care that this child was having with the angels of God beyond what we could ever give on earth. Wow, 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 wow. Lift, lift your hands to the Lord. Lift your hands to the Lord because this is coming to you. Yeah. The Lord not only said he's going to comfort you, but in the next few years, you will understand why God allowed this to happen. Wow, thank you because God. some things God does, it is very difficult for us to understand. But I heard the angel of the Lord say, tell Evelyn or Evelyn, Evelyn. what is, Evelyn. tell Evelyn, Evelyn that I am in control. Even through this thank situation, God. I will show you that I am God. Prophesy. The angel of the Lord didn't know the name. Are you hearing me? I am. I will pray for you. Thank you. The Lord will comfort you. Thank you. Some things are a mystery. Listen to me, children of God. We don't have all the answers. When we say Jesus is the answer, it's because even beyond this world, He will yeah. tell us why we went through what we went through. Yeah. Some things don't make sense yeah. in the present time. But we already know bit, that, Lavi. <laughs> The vision will speak for itself. Yeah. Yeah. We already know that. The secret things belongs to God. What he has revealed is for you and for your children forever. So what are you telling us? What are you telling us that we don't already know? And I mean, I mean, guys, can you tell me in the chat? Do you think that Jamo Brad was uncomfortable? I, I, I vote that Jamo Brad was uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, man, Let, let's hear, let's hear, let's hear. It is impossible to explain these things sometimes. All I can tell you is what the Lord has said to me. Okay. Be at peace. Thank you. You are loved by God. Thank you, God. And the Lord will prove himself. Yes, he will. The Lord will yes, give you a vision in the heavens. Wow. Where you will see to know that what I'm telling you is actually from the Lord himself. Wow. I have never met you. How would I know your name unless he tells me? Yes. How would I know what happened unless he actually Thank tells me? Thank you, God. I am not God. Not Only God. Jesus knows everything. And I am telling you, the comfort of the Lord will Thank come upon you. And in a little bit, yes. you will know why God permitted what he permitted. You, and I want you to know, your child is in the presence of God. Yeah, you have God. an intercessor 24-7. Yeah, amen. 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 You have to understand this. If there are people crying from the altar asking God to avenge them. As the book of Revelation says, you have to know there are also people in the presence of God praying for their families. There are people who are asking for justice and there are people who are praying for their families. The blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of who? Abel. It means Abel was praying in heaven. Amen. 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 That's good. Clap your hands to Jesus. Amen. Stretch your hands towards this young lady and pray that the Lord will comfort her and the Lord will reveal to her in due time, in due time, that she will understand the ways of God. Why God permitted this. But above all. Guys. Then what is the point? Because if, if God has already told love the situation, right? At what point is this woman going to hear this word? When is this going to happen? In due time. When? You have to be specific. You have to say on this day, Tuesday at 8 o'clock. <laughs> no. This is how they get people. Okay? This is how they get people. So to me, I'm like, no, 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 no. There's nothing that is happening over here. It's just calm. However, I'm go <laughs> here, I'll tell you what, guys. But when those people fall down, it's actually true. They're actually falling down. Okay? News flash. I'm going to tell you what happened to me. Okay? Before I was a Christian, I went to... Uh, I never used to believe these things. That you can actually be, quote unquote, slain in the spirit. <laughs> okay? Bury and babe story. And I never believed those people fall down. I thought they, they're just making it up. So I, I had zero intentions that I was going to fall down. Okay? I was praying that I wasn't going to fall down. So I went forward. Okay? And the, the, uh, the preacher, okay? Uh, they call him a bishop. I remember he was bishop. He 
touched my forehead. I'm telling you, it was so hot. I actually fell. I fell down. I actually fell down. You know what I mean? That was when I was dating my husband. My husband was there. I was in the audience and my sister-in-law. I think they just laughed like, oh, what was that about, Violet? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. That was our first time. So it happened to me. So when I, the falling down is actually real. <laughs> but it's all, you know, it's nothing. But, you know, they, they, they psych people up. I used to fall down. I felt the <laughs> You see what I'm telling you? I used to fall down. I push me up. <laughs> yes, I also fell backwards. I was actually standing. I was fine. But the guy just, it, and it wasn't like a push. He just tapped on my forehead and it was so hot. Okay, the heat was that I fell down instantly. So I'm like, oh, you know, whatever it is, you know, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Have you guys fell down? Be slain in the spirit. <laughs> oh, pray that our destiny in the presence of God will be fulfilled. Lift your voice and pray. I can hear you praying. Stretch your hands and pray. Yeah, they always want, to, you know, that noise to be going on, you know. Yeah. Look at Jamo there. Doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Look at the scheming over here. I know. Yeah. He said she was going to phone. Now the text over there. She's on the phone. Now speaking to the whatever. Lift you your know? voice. Your prayer now is so quiet. Is Can you like, lift your voice you and living? pray? Why are you leaving? I thought the plan was she's going to call and find out to see if the situation with Stephen, whatever. These guys, lies upon lies upon lies. Yeah? So, uh, the cameras are all over the place. So, <laughs> welcome to fake miracles. Hallelujah. <laughs> In no, Jesus' man. name. Jesus no, name. blaspheme. Rise up, all of you. Rise up, all of you. Blaspheming. Blaspheming. Rise up, all of you. You're just blaspheming. I want you to understand something. <clears throat> For every word that the Lord speaks, it is always activated by a response. And the easiest way to prove that you have heard from God, it is how you respond to the word of God. Amen. Leave her and never come back in Jesus' name. It is in the manner. Mm -hmm. It is so, in the manner. Yes. That we respond to what God has spoken. Yes. Now it is about Whenever finances. Whenever God spoke to the children of Israel, their response was always to sacrifice something unto the Lord as evidence that, Lord, I have heard you and I am already worshipping you for what you have already accomplished. Amen. Cain and Abel began to hear the voice of God when they presented an offering before God. Exactly. Then mm -hmm. God was attracted by the presence of the sacrifice. Look at God Jamo. is not only attracted <laughs> to your prayer, he is attracted to a prayer that is sacrificial in nature. Amen. Many of you just pray with words. That is why there is a struggle in the spirit. How? If your How life is, is not a sacrifice to him, and to sacrifice your life before God means you honor him also with what he has blessed you with. Uh huh. Is somebody we, hearing me? Yeah. We need the money now. <laughs> I want you to stand with a seat. Uh. I want you all to stand up. Stand up. Rise up. Uh. If I be a prophet of God, you'll see the manifestation of what God is going to do. Look, Amen. What are these guys doing? You're walking going to around see with a him. tremendous manifestation of God that will shock you yourself. <laughs> number five is the number of grace. Number six is the number of man, meaning where there is faults because man is not perfect. But number seven is the number of perfection. Perfection. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're going to grab a seed of triple perfection. It can be seven billion, seven hundred and something trillion. Uh, coming for it your pockets now. It can be 77 now. billion, seven hundred and something. This is why they had him there the money it can be 77,000 and something <laughs> and I want you to come forward I am going to anoint you and pray for you <laughs> I want you to grab what you have come to the Lord come before the Lord as quickly as you can yeah now grab your seat want, and come. it's the money 
There will be a supernatural acceleration because your giving is a sign of trust. <laughs> Saying to the Lord, Father, I trust you. No, 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 no. no. Manipulation. You cannot show God that you trust him until you give up what you depend on. And now it's manipulation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've entered manipulation. Yeah. Yeah. So now he's gone into uh, manipulation because now they want, you know, he has to give. So I think that's why Jamal Bryant had, um, what's his name? This lovely guy to be there. Okay. It was all about money for him. He wanted him to, to, you know, you know what I mean? You got to bring in your, uh, your, you know, big guns. Okay. You have to bring in your big guns. So they said in there, I mean, <laughs> lies of what lies. So here they are. Okay. So this is Jamo right here. Love you alias. Okay. They're taking pictures at uh, no birth. So this was the scene over there. Okay. And Ravi of Prophet Lovey, Ravi. Thank you, big brother, Jamo Bryant, and your incredible church, no birth, for inviting me to be part of this great move of God in ATL. Thank you, Dad, Prophet Passion Java. Another for street. This one is not far from me. Uh, you know, me and my husband, we say we should just go. At, you know, we should just go. Like one of these days, we, 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 we're going to go to his church. It's not far. And my little brother, Innocent Java, for coming out to support Revelation Nation. I love you, family. It's just, I mean, we saw our with our own eyes, okay? So there they are, you know. This is Prophet Java, and this is his son. There looks like they're grooming him as well. That's the first lady there, okay? These guys, they are all they not nothing but their lies. So this is how they are, you know, making it, lying to people. So this is uh Ravi right here, Prophet Lovi, Lovi areas. So yeah, them right here at the airport, okay? So you know. They're always like in tow, like with the, uh, this one, uh, Prophet Java's son. Okay, it says, thank you, big brother, Jamal Brian, your credible church, New Beth, for inviting me to be part of this great move. Yeah? So this is how they do it, right? Always pretending to be busy, you at the airport. They are just, this is how they, um, they are lying to people, but because people don't want to read their Bibles, Okay, if you're not reading your Bibles, you're going to sit there and think that whatever you're receiving is, is, is real, is real prophetic, right? Because they're just using the name of Jesus. Just because people say the name of Jesus, that doesn't mean it's true. Demons, they know about God and they even tremble. But what about them? The devil quotes scriptures. So this is what these guys do. Read a bit fake miracles over here just to, to, to lie to us. It's all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and X. And make sure you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We welcome all our new subscribers. Stay tuned. More coming this week. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.